Well, we give we give them the uh, permission to uh, to did some uh, background, some research, but I don't think they went too far on it. Uh, I don't agree uh, with them, in my opinion, because you know we have uh, other creatures that uh, there be discrimination to so many other creatures. Uh, animals. Uh, some people they have a snakes for pets. Some people they have this. They have that. So I don't know. It, uh, we should de definitely think about it. I don't know, Mr. Chairman, what do you think about it? But uh, well, we should think about it and uh, give them an answer. I would say I don't have a dog in the fight, all right, or or a chicken in the coop, if you will. Um, <laughs> I don't own chickens, and, and rest assured, I don't intend to run out and and uh, and buy some. Should we pass an ordinance? But you know, I I don't know that we put forth enough effort into looking into factual information. To be uh, my own personal opinion, um, I heard a lot of rumors about rodent infestation, uh, the inability to enforce the ordinances, and uh, problems of our town somewhat being overrun by chickens is what it almost sounded like, but uh, I, I've read a lot about it, both in favor and, and against keeping the chickens. Um, I didn't know chicken chickens created good fertilizer. You know, I didn't know they provide, I didn't know they, they provide, you know, farm to table fresh eggs. So there's, there's a lot of things good about it, but um, listening to the Planet Commission, they brought up some, in my opinion, some valid points. Um, you know, I, the side yards and the, and the perimeter setbacks and things. Um, we talked about road and, you know, issues that may come with it. I, I don't know. I, I personally, I, I would have liked to have seen us go back and address some of the concerns with the ordinance, um, such as setbacks. Because personally, again, I, if, we, if we write it right, not every home in this community will be able to have chickens. I mean, if you put setbacks, you know, not every you know, lot is built for it. Some are, and, and if we write it right, I think we would be able to have something that we could enforce, so. Well, I, I think part of what, what uh, Planning Commission did say is, is that if they modified it and did certain changes, were there enough of the committee that were okay with those changes to to, a, to uh, submit a ordinance. I think that they were trying to save uh, the trouble as well as the money of going forward. Um, I'm the same way as you. I'm, it really doesn't matter to me. Uh, it sounds like it could be more issues in regards to what they talked about, but I don't have any evidence over that. Um, but I think that that was part of the reason that they didn't see fit on moving forward on having Tom um, continue on in regards to the expenses. Please, Tom, don't take that the wrong way. Um, just the, uh, uh, the additional resources to move forward. It didn't, it sounded like they they weren't moving forward or because they didn't see fit. Um, that was at least my interpretation when it, uh, being at the Planning Commission listening to their discussions. I. You know, I, I understand what you're saying. I would tell you, we, we just authorized payments of about, I can't tell you how much money for things around town today. I, I think that the, the ordinance is written, basically. I think you just need some adjustments to it to address some concerns for consideration. And again, I'm not suggesting that we pass this. I'm suggesting that we, we address it with an ordinance that would, that would work for this community so that we could consider it. And then people can vote their you know, your position on this. Not everybody's for it. I don't think everybody's against it, but I think, I think we owe it to ourselves, you know, for the, the minimal more time that Tom would have to put into it to, to at least um, address it for those people that have shown concerns that they're interested in doing this. So that's my two cents. Open agree, the floor Bill. to anybody for comment. I agree, Bill. I think we need to explore more options. That. I think given the, the likelihood of COVID has not given us the ability to explore as many options, um, in-person um, checks on these places as much as maybe you or I or Joe Cower may have liked. 
um, or in general, that there are things that, you know, we may not feel comfortable doing, maybe setting up committee to explore these options. I mean, I know there's been some vehement responses to not having chickens. And I also know there's been some vehement responses to these are my pets. These are my family. And I understand both sides. Um, I, I wish that we could further explore the option um, in 2021. It should be that, definitely limit. I'm sorry, Nick. It should I'm be sorry. limit how many of those you want. We already went to in council to make sure they don't disturb the uh, the neighbor uh, part of the property. We went through that. I don't know. It, it don't make no difference to me. I, I was born in a farm. I mean, I like all the animals. Uh, it's the ton is uh, they re, a lot of people want them. A lot of people don't want them. So <coughs> excuse me, it's up to, the, it's up to us to have a, uh, the solicitor checking on and, and, and see what we could do so we can satisfy uh, F of the people. Of, well, that's hard. We'll never satisfy for everybody. Right. I just <laughs> you can do some research, Mr. Chairman. That's correct. Can I ask a quick <laughs> question on these chickens? Uh, Joe <laughs> Cower or anybody else? Could you have any idea how many people are actually wanting chickens or actually have chickens in Bridgeville? I couldn't answer how many people want them. Uh, I know a good half dozen already have them. Yeah. Okay. All right. If I might very briefly, not chiming in one way or the other, if, if council wishes, uh, the, the setback, I think that was just done the way it was traditionally. We can certainly, Joe and I in 10 minutes can come up with and fix it and peg it to traditional things within your yard, set back from your own border. And secondly, just re with regard to enforcement, um, if you look in the total chapter, a lot of the teeth in the um, enforcement and in the sanitation requirements is in the overall chapter. In other words, that pertains to dogs, cats, chickens, if this was enacted as well. Um, but we could certainly add any teeth as quickly as you wish to it as well. But it is all in there in terms of the enforcement that we borrowed from other uh, model ordinances. And again, that's all at council's pleasure. Are there, are there any other comments about the issue? So what I, what I think we're, we're challenged with right now is do we, uh, as a group, authorize the solicitor to pursue amendments to that ordinance as written to address the concerns? Or do we, as a group, uh, accept the recommendation from the planning commission and, and move forward? So that, that's what's in, in front of us. I would uh, I would delay that uh, any of the uh, comment, any of the permission, uh, uh, negative or positive to the planning commission. I want to delay for a while. Let's talk about it next year or something. Because some people they, they definitely they want like an ex say that's my pet, you know, and. Uh, uh, you hurt their feelings, and uh, I, I, I don't know. It don't make any difference to me. But I hear a lot of comment. Uh, no, you can't take that much. You can't take the chicken away from me. But if some people say you can't take this from me. We, we, we the one. Uh, let's let's do some study. If you wish to authorize Tom to give us a better uh, look, better ordinance or better idea, I'd be more than glad. If you want to wait a month or two, that's all right. That's what I, I, would, I would like to see us table it if possible. I would like us to do some more due diligence on both sides of the matter. Maybe look yeah. into, is this a rat problem? Is this more of a personal problem with neighbors? Um, I, I would just like more information on both sides of the discussion to be honest. And that's that's going to fall on us at this point because the planning commission has 
made the recommendation. So if we need, if we're going to look into it, that's going to be on us at this point. Absolutely. So, okay. We either accept their, their uh, we either accept the recommendation or do our, uh, our study, one or the other. But we can think about it. It's going to be too cold. They're going to be inside anyway, pretty soon. <laughs> okay. All right. Do I have anything else under old business? <laughs> How about new business? Uh, I got some me, new. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Nick. All right. I have a few things I'd like to say for new business. Um, first, I'd like to send a thank you to all our community and patrons in the Bridgeville area for reaching out for my twin sisters and I um, birthday food drive for Bethany um, Community Bridgeville Area Community Food Bank. We raised over $1,500 cash and about 2,000 plus cans and non-perishable foods. So thank you very much, uh, Bridgeville and everyone for who donated and helped out and spread the word. Also, you know, everybody's a little bit aware of where I work. I'd really appreciate if everybody can get out and help support local small businesses. Bridgeville is a community that's honestly, it's run and grown on these small businesses from the top down. And if we can all just give a little bit more, I know there's not a lot to be given from all of us, but there's just a little bit more, even if it's just kindness, uh, it can go a long way in this, this holiday season. Um, furthermore, I'd like to just thank, thank everybody for a great 2020. Things could have been a lot more difficult and I think we all worked really well together. Um, beyond that, happy holidays, stay safe and get well soon, Nino. Thank you. Thank you. I, I too would like to wish the residents a, a very Merry Christmas and a, and a happy holiday season, um, especially to those who are struggling to cope uh, with the pandemic, whether it's health issues or finances or just downright tired of this pandemic. Um, hang in there hoping for a better 2021. Thank you all council members for all the work you did. This was a challenging year. Some would say it might be easier to do things this way uh, by Zoom, but I, I would argue it's more of a challenge. Our communication gaps at times were, were hard, but uh, you guys worked hard to, to get through this and I appreciate all the work you guys put into it. So Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of you and all the residents. Anybody else? Thank you. Same to you. I'll take a motion to adjourn it. I'm sorry, you have something BJ? I was just gonna make a comment about the winter blast um, and a nice job that that the BCA and the fire department, namely Ray Costan and Diane and Nick for being the ugly elf that scared my kids. But um, <laughs> thank you for the job. And in, in such a, you know, um, troubling times, some people came out. We had a lot of cars that came by and picked up the, uh, the families picked up their, their bags. Um, so things moved forward. And I think everybody had a great job. Mayor Copeland turned on the lights. So I appreciated it. I was there in person and I thought they did a great job and I appreciated that uh, they put forth the effort. So thanks to all of you. Thank you. Oh, and, and Pat DePlasio. Pat, it was great. Thanks for the hot <laughs> All right, thank you all. Any, uh, any other comments under new business? If not, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So move. Well, I have a second. Taken. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion adjourned.